In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Leap's options to generate consistent positive cash flow in a way that's safer and easier than you ever thought possible. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to use Leap's options to maximize income or to maximize your cash flow. This just might enable you to use selling options to retire sooner than you thought was possible. First and briefly, what are Leap's options? Here you see the Investopedia definition of Leap's. They're what's known as long-term equity anticipation securities. But to put it simply, they're just options that expire in over a year. You see, you can sell options that expire daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. And there's some options that expire in 12 plus months. When they get into that 12 plus month range, that's a leaps option. So there's nothing really special about leaps options, except that they expire in over 12 months from now. First, let's look at the difference from what you have at risk when you sell a nearer term option, one that expires in less than a year, as compared to what you have at risk when you sell an option that expires in over a year. Here you see that SPY, the S&P 500, is currently trading for right at $545 per share. Let's say we wanted to sell an option against SPY. Well, we might consider selling the August 16th cash could put option against it. That option expires in about a month and a half. For it, as you can see down here, we expect to receive around $656. So what do we have at risk? Well, if the S&P 500 were to go to zero, which we know isn't gonna happen, but let's just say it was, we'd be risking that whole $545 per share that we sold those put options at times the 100 shares that each contract is worth. So we'd have at risk $54,500 minus the option premium we received up front, or minus the $6.56 per share that we received up front. That'd mean that we truly have at risk $53,844 minus commission. Now let's bump this out in time. Let's look at what we have at risk when we sell a leaps put option. If we go out to January 18th of 2026, we're going out about two and a half years. How much could we expect to receive for that put option? Well, here you see it'd be just over $38 per share. So we have quite a bit less at risk because we're getting a lot more premium up front. However, we're tied into this position for two and a half years or a lot longer than that first option, which was only a month and a half. So you get more premium up front, but you're potentially tied in for a longer amount of time. Now just keep in mind that you can't always close out an option that you sold by buying it back. So you don't have to stay in this position for the whole duration of the expiration cycle. But up front, you are agreeing to a longer time frame when you sell a leaps option as compared to one that expires in a month or two. Let's now talk through the advantages of selling leaps put options as compared to shorter time frame options. And of course, like I always do on this channel, I'm going to do that using my real life trades. Here you see that on June 14th, I sold the AMGN June 21st of the next year cash secured put option. For that put option, as you see up here, we received $6.38 per share. This was part of an overall bigger trade. We're just gonna focus on this leaps put option portion of this trade. So we sold the June 21st 180 put option and got $6.38 per share or $638 for that one contract. Here you see the daily chart of AMGN around the time frame that we did that trade. It's back here in June. Notice that AMGN was trading for around $220 per share. Keep in mind we sold the $180 cash secured put option. That put option was already pretty far out of the money. It was about $40 out of the money. But you probably can understand the reason I did that when I zoom out on the chart. Down here is when I sold that put option at the 180 strike price. Notice what just happened to Amgen. Over the previous year, it had declined from around $300 per share all the way down to $200 per share. It experienced about a 33% decline. Because of that, I wanted to take a safer position in Amgen, so I wanted to sell a put option that was pretty far out of the money. And to do that, I sold a leaps option, or one that had an expiration date of over 12 months in the future. And as you saw, I was able to get some really nice premium for that. One reason I did that is I believe that Amgen was reaching a value where it's possibly undervalued. But if it continues to decline, I wanted to give myself time for this position to go against me, but still work out. As you see here, the market did agree with me and Amgen did advance in price, so it worked out well for me. But by selling that option farther out in time, 12 months in the future, and the strike price of put option being out of the money, it gave me time and room to be wrong and still get a 100% win with this trade. So selling leaps options gives your trade time to win. The second thing it does for you is that it gives you more premium up front. Remember, we got $6.38 per share for selling this option that expired right at a year from then. Remember, Amgen was trading for around $200 per share when we sold that 180 put option. So that option was about $30 out of the money. That's around 15% out of the money. How much could we get if we sold an option that was 15% out of the money that had about 45 days to expiration? Let's look at that using a current possible trade. So I'm just trading for around $310 per share. If we drop down 15% from where it's currently trading at, that put us around $260 per share. If we're looking at the option expire in 45 days, notice that we would only get 72 to 92 cents per share. So around 80 cents per share 
for that same trade. So we get a lot more income up front for selling that leaps option, but we are tied into the trade for a lot longer time frame. With this trade here, we're tied in for 45 days. As compared to that leaps option I sold, I was tied in for around 370 days. But important point number two, that you get a lot more premium up front. A third point that to me is very important, especially when the stock is heading down, is that you can sell them farther out of the money and still get some decent premium. We had a lot of room for Amgen to go against us before our 180 put option was challenged. So by going farther out in time, by selling a leaps or longer dated option, we're able to sell it at a strike price that's a lot lower than what the stock was currently trading at and still get that nice premium up front. But there are some important factors you want to consider when looking to sell a longer time frame option like a leaps as compared to a shorter time frame option. Let's talk through some of the Greeks of these options to help you understand some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages of selling leaps as compared to shorter dated options. Here we're looking at the options that expire in about 45 days. With Amgen trading for around $308 per share, let's look at the options that are trading for pretty close to at the money or right around where the stock's currently trading at. So we're looking at the 45 day options. They expire right at a month and a half from now. First, let's look at Theta. Remember, theta is time decay. If nothing else changed, how much will we expect the value of this option to decrease by in the next 24 hours? Or if we're looking at the $300 put option that's selling for around $7.10 per share, we expect the value of this option to decrease by 9.5 cents per share or right at 10 cents per share. Let's now switch over to the option that expires right out a year from now. Let's look at that same $300 strike price. Notice that its time decay is a lot lower. It's about 75% lower. It loses on average 2.5 cents per day. Remember the one that expires in 45 days loses about 10 cents per day. So although you get a lot more premium upfront for this option, in this case, $24 or $25 per share, it will decay at a lot slower rate than the one that expires in 45 days. Now that time decay isn't quite as pronounced when you sell a farther out of the money option. For example, now I've switched back to the options that expire in 45 days. I'm looking at the 230 strike price put option. Remember it's trading for around $308 per share, so we're pretty far out of the money. This $230 cash care put option, the theta is right at three cents per day. If we switch over to the options that expire right at a year from now, notice that its theta is 1.9 cents per day, right at two cents per day. So although it is a pretty big percentage change, overall it's not nearly as drastic as the at the money difference in theta. Then let's look at one more Greek. Let's look at Delta. Delta can tell you several different things. One of them is the odds this option will be in the money at expiration. Notice the Delta of this $300 put option is right at 35%. So the broker is saying that presently there's about a 35% chance this option will be in the money at expiration or the next 45 days. Now remember, that's not percent chance that it will touch that strike price. It's the percent chance that it will actually be in the money at expiration. If we switch over to the option that expires a year from now, notice it's a little bit higher, but not as much higher as you might think. It's at 38.6%. So a little bit higher probability this option will be in the money at expiration a year from now. One more factor you want to consider is your implied volatility. And that changes based on expiration. I've switched back to the 45-day options. And notice that the implied volatility of this option chain is right at 24.3%. What about the option that expires about 12 months from now? Notice that it's a little bit higher at 26.5%. When you're trying to make a decision, if you want to sell these longer term options, the Greeks and volatility are things that you also want to consider. Something else I like to look at is what's my return? And that's pretty much why we're all here, right? We want to improve our returns, increase the amount of cash flow that we receive. So one more factor I like to share with you is the return. How much do you get paid for the risk you're taking? You see, when you're selling someone a put option, you're selling someone insurance. If the stock goes below the price of the put option you sold them, they might assign you that option if it's an American style option. So you're selling someone insurance. That's what a put option is. So here we have our $300 put option that expires in about 45 days. And what our broker is telling us here is that if we sell this $300 put option that expires in about 45 days, let's just say we got around $6.45 per share. We realize about a 16.93% annualized return based on that $300 strike price. What would our return be for the option that expires about a year from now? For that same $300 strike price put option, although we get a lot more premium up front at $23 per share, notice that the annualized return is a lot lower. It's 7.7%. .7 so you might say, well, I don't want to do it. But keep in mind, you can close this option out early. That would definitely improve your return if you're able to close it out early. Another factor to keep in mind here is exactly what you have at risk. Remember, we sold the $300 cash could put option in this scenario. With the one that expires in about 45 days, we expect to receive about $6.70 per share. So if that option was assigned to us, our true out-of-pocket cost will be around $293 per share. What about the one that expires in about a year from now? What would our out-of-pocket cost be if that one was assigned to us? Was the same strike price at $300 per share? And let's just say we get around $24.40 per share. If that was assigned to us, notice that our out-of-pocket cost is a lot lower at right at $275 per share. 
So you give yourself a lot more room for a position to go against you. You can still potentially win by selling that leaps option because you get so much more money up front. Another important factor to keep in mind, especially for some traders, is the open interest or how much the option is traded. Here under open interest, you see the one that expires in 45 days, there's currently 616 open contracts. When we switch over to the one that expires in about a year, notice it's a lot less. There's over 90% less open interest at only 46 open contracts. As a result, the difference between the bid and the ask of this longer term option is a lot wider than the difference in the bid and ask of the shorter term option. So you might experience a little more slippage if you're selling longer term leaps options than if you're selling shorter ones. But keep in mind, you also won't be doing as many trades. You'll be doing one trade potentially a year as compared to one trade every 45 days. And of course, you don't have to wait a year to close out that leaps option. You can always close it out early to improve your return. Selling leaps put options is a great way to pocket some nice initial premium, give yourself a lot of room and time to be wrong and the trades still work out for you and greatly minimizes how much time you have to spend trading options. If you haven't tried it out already, why not consider trying it out in a future option trade? It's just one of the techniques and strategies we use to drink consistent monthly cash flow and return on our account. Now, as you've seen, with that extra premium you receive up front for selling that longer option, it gives you a lot more room to be wrong and still win on a trade. And if it goes your way fast, like our Amgen trade did, you'll be able to close it out early to improve your overall return. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. Selling leaps put options is just one of the longer term option trading strategies I use. Another one is this exact trade I did here in Amgen, and that's using risk reversals. If you'd like to see how I use risk reversals to drink potential explosive returns and get paid up front to do that, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, Very Low Risk, Very High Reward Trading Strategy. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.